And this is the reality of homesteading. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to that channel, hit the subscribe button. Today is an exciting day on the farm for the family at Fort McKinley. So we've got this goat that continues to get its head stuck in the fencing. And it's about the fourth time now that it's got its head stuck. And it's got really big horns. So its horns prevent us from being able to get his head back through. I'm not sure how he even gets through the fence. But I continue to clip my fence to allow him to get out. And today is his last day of being stuck. Also happens to be his last day on the farm and McKinley's first time getting to dispatch one of the animals on the farm. <laughs> So part of farming, guys, is knowing when to fold them. And for this guy, he's just become a problem goat in that he has learned to constantly stick his head through the fence. And as you can see, he's got a big head, a ton of horn, and these tiny little fence holes. He somehow can get his head through that stuff. Um, but he's continuing to do it almost the day after we let him go every single time. So... Days like today, you have to find a purpose for your goat. You A, can sell them, or B, you can feed them to the family. It's not all glitz and glamor, ladies and gentlemen. This is the reality of raising animals. This is the reality of where animals and meat come from. This is how you feed your family if you don't choose to just go to the store and let somebody else do the dirty work. So there's a big difference, guys, between shooting a wild animal and shooting an animal that you have cared for, fed, watered, got their head unstuck uh, multiple times throughout your, your farming career. McKinley is gonna tell us what she's feeling, what she's thinking uh, before we go and shoot, shoot bow in the head. So what, what are you thinking? How are you feeling? A little nervous. Nervous for what? Um, I'm nervous that he's not gonna die the first shot. That's always a possibility, right? So really just taking your time, being patient, allowing him to, you know, get settled. No, we're, we're by the grass, guys, because we're gonna grab grass and put it right down in front of him. Um, so he won't be stressed. Uh, he'll be preoccupied and um, that will give you the best chance to be able to make a clean shot and a clean kill. But I will say, sometimes you just don't hit the mark. It happens. Sometimes you just don't hit that sweet spot. Or sometimes they just take a weird bounce in a, in a different direction and they don't get the job done. It, that is part of it. So preparing for that is preparing for a second shot the one benefit you have is that his head is stuck in one place. He's not gonna go off running somewhere. So second shot, you have to be prepared for more movement, him a little more spazzed out, freaking out, uh, moving around, more erratic. So you have to calm yourself, take the time to make a good second shot. Okay. So Kinley asked to do this, guys. She volunteered. Why did you why did you want to dispatch Bo? Good enough for me. I'm glad you asked. This is just part of living out here, guys, and it's it's one of those things you show your kids. Um, you're teaching your kids, and I think there's just a natural curiosity, a natural want to be a part of it at some time. I grew up hunting at a very young age. Uh, and I couldn't wait to go out and go hunting and it becomes a part of your life and taking animals is just part of it. But like I said, this is an animal that you have cared for. I've had to put down animals that we've cared for, whether they get injured or it's just their time. Um, it's not as easy as killing wildlife, but you have to, in the moment, just not think about it. It's all business. You have one job to do and that is bullet placement. That's it. So uh, we're gonna put Bo to use. 
Um, he is going into the freezer. He will be getting eaten and uh, he, he will have had a good life. Not that it really matters. It doesn't really matter. But uh, Bo has had a good life on the farm. He's eaten plenty of our alfalfa. And I'm actually excited to see him go. And I'm excited to see you shoot your first animal. All right, you ready to go do it? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go get it done. Now you want to go right back behind his head. So almost get yep, right over the top of his body, just like that. And then you also got to think about where that bullet's going to go if it comes all the way out and through. And you just touch it right to the top, just touch it right to his head. Yeah. Just wait for him to put his head down. Wait for it. Okay, at that angle, you're going to skip a bullet right off the top of his head. It should be like, it should be like that. Boom. You see that? So you really got to think of the deep angle of the bullet. Yeah. Well, so like if I was going to do it, I'd put the gun right here, go straight down, boom, because the gun is going straight down his face. Okay. So what you have to do is just kind of wait, but you need to get a steeper angle. You're gonna go like behind the ears. Now lift it straight up. Wait. Boom. Okay, now you have to cock it all the way back. Now, this thing. Pull it straight back. Okay, now as soon as you pull a trigger, that's going on. Okay, so now your job is to line up all your angles. Okay, so finger off the trigger, right? Get it to where you want it. And just take a minute. Try to feel your heartbeat picking up. Okay, go ahead and just start getting it lined up. Wait for him to put his head down. As soon as you have it lined up, just pull the trigger. Just touch it right to the back of his head. There's no need to jerk it out. Just wait, wait, please put his head straight down. And then your angle looks good. Wait till he takes the bike. Yeah. I can get it. Huh? I can get it. You sure? Yeah, I can get it. You're done. You done? Yep, he's done. Smoke him, kiddo. He has moved. Are you sure he's dead? All right, kittens, come here. After action report. Oh, move your head away from the fence. Okay, so you. Killed your first goat, first shot. Well, one bullet, first shot. How was it? How do you feel? Good. Kind of, kind of hard to do, right? But then you sort of get past the thoughts of killing it versus the oh, okay, there's a job to be done. Is that is that what you felt? Yeah. So you almost didn't do it. What were you thinking when you were like, I can't do it? Well, we just, I used to come in here and just pet him a lot, so I just didn't want to shoot him. You were thinking about the times, the good times? Yeah. Yeah. That's the hard, t that's the hard part about having animals and then having to dispatch them, is you think about all the things you've done with them. All the times you've had to round them up, all the times you've fed them, all that stuff, right? But the difference is, is clearing that stuff out of your mind and getting the job done. So I'm super proud of you. You did, you couldn't have done a better job. The best thing that we can do anytime that we have to dispatch an animal is give them a good, clean, quick death. That's it. That's, that is ranching. Yeah. That's 
It's all you can ask for for the animals. Yeah. All right, guys, that is it. Uh, hot topic video. I'm sure YouTube's gonna hate it, but uh, you guys let us know in the comments what you thought of the video. I know for a lot of people it might be hard to watch that. For those of you thinking about homesteading, this is it. You either, you either do this yourself or you pay somebody else to come and do it. And we don't pay people to come out and kill our animals. So that's part of how we homestead. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button guys, and we will catch you on the next one. And we better not catch you on the property.